This evening the weather's an awful lot cloudier than it was yesterday. Um, but I'm still out on my way to Luskantire Beach again, I think, this evening. I'd like to try and get some more shots of the sand dunes, because yesterday I didn't really manage to shoot anything other than just that main shot across the bay, which was fantastic, but I'd quite like to go down there this evening again to see if I can get some more uh, compositions. But actually, I'm driving past this area here, which is um, quite a well-photographed part of Harris. Um, I've seen a lot of photographs actually from this spot, so I'd say it's not really a very original photograph. Uh, but this is um, down near Norton, and here we have this sort of salt marsh, um, I guess it is, uh, with these little creeks that run up towards the mountain. Um, so I've just stopped off here quickly to take an image. Um, I think it's just going to be a simple, I've just, I've just gone for one simple composition here. I've got uh, the creek that's creating a nice lead-in line up for the image, and probably because it's so cloudy, I think this is going to work better as a black and white image. Um, so I've got the 10 stop filter on, so it'll be a long exposure, uh, and we'll see how this turns out. So I'm back down here at Luskantai now, and as you can see, compared to yesterday, it's a lot cloudier and greyer, but actually, I think for the kind of shots which I want to take this evening, I think that's going to work okay. Um, so as I was driving over, I noticed that the mountains, which were the other side of the water in the shots I took yesterday, are all quite obscured by cloud. So I think I've made the right decision by coming to a different part of the beach and going for a different shot this evening. Uh, today, really, it's going to be all about trying to photograph the sand dunes themselves. Um, and when we came down in the middle of the day yesterday, we, we came to this part of the beach and it looked like it had some potential. Um, the only thing I'm slightly worried about is it's because we've had good weather lately, and obviously with the current situation I think it's been a bit busier up here than it normally would be anyway, um, it might be difficult to find a clean dune that's not covered in footprints. So I'm going to take a little walk around and um, yeah, I'll see if I can find something anyway. So I've just seen this little spot down here where you've got this nice sort of curve of these lines. Um, footprints have gone past it, but fortunately not through it. And then behind that, you've actually got some hills and mountains uh, looking back inland. So um, I think this might be my first stop to see if I can take an image. Yeah, I think this image works quite nicely. And it's just a really simple image. I don't think I need any filters at all for this. I just love the leading line that those, those lines in the sand are creating. And I think if I can really sort of bring out a bit of contrast in those lands in the sand, lands? <laughs> lines in the sand, um, I think that will work really well. So it really is just a case of just trying to walk around and try and find, I'm looking for curving lines that will create a nice lead in line in the image. But primarily, I think the hardest thing at the moment is just trying to find some clean sand that hasn't been walked on. Um, it's a bit of a struggle at the moment. So I found a spot here. Um, I'm afraid I might actually need to cheat on this one because um, there are uh, the, the sand in front of the camera is actually fairly clean, but in the background there are a few footprints. There's also a few straggly bits of grass, which are, um, I think, interfering with my image. Uh, so I'm afraid I may need to do a little bit of Photoshop work on this, but I love how gloomy and oppressive the sky is on this. And again, I've got these lines, lines in the sand in the foreground and then various layers of dunes moving off, and then you've got uh, the mountain over in the, in the distance. So um, if you'll let me off, 
doing a little bit of Photoshop work on some of those footprints, I think this is also an okay image. So again, this is another shot I think which is working with him. It's, it's literally, I think everything at the moment is being dictated for me by trying to find sand with no footprints in it. Um, but I think with the, the moody skies, it's just working quite nicely. These aren't really quite the shots that I was after coming here. Um, but I'm a little bit rushed. The sun's now gone down, it's been down about 10 minutes or so. So I'm a little bit pushed for time, um, but yeah, we'll see. Um, I'll keep going and hopefully before we lose the light completely, I'll get something good. The light's really starting to drop now, it's getting a little bit too dark, so I think it's time to say farewell to Lost Entire Bay. Um, but my word, this place has just given and given and given over the last couple of evenings. It's absolutely stunning. Whatever the conditions, this, this is the place to come if you're on Harris. Um, so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, tonight's actually our last night on Harris. We're going to be heading over to Torridon um, as, our, as for the next stage of our trip. But um, I hope you've enjoyed these last few videos here and uh, we'll see you next time.